Hello from Sweden and welcome to another pick a card reading. Before we start, I just want to say that during the month of August, you can get my Oracle deck, the little guy deck with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount. If you use the coupon code Lionsgate capital letters on my website, nordicl.com. Okay, back to today's reading. Some urgent messages from your spirit guides. You need to hear this. And I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. Like always, we're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. So we have pile one with golden eagle. We have pile two with elephant. And we have pile three with rabbit. Okay, this is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find your timestamps. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pilot number one, and welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn to the golden eagle. So let's see what we have here behind the tape. We have enlightenment and success. Okay, let's just put it here. And we're going to dive into the first half of your reading with some small cards. We're going to take these later. Uh, okay, let's start with three tarot cards. So what is the urgent messages from your spirit guides that you need to hear? One more card. Oh, I think it's... Oh, I want to take this one as well. So four cards. <laughs> <clears throat> And we're also going to take two cards from my own Oracle deck. And if you missed the intro during the month of August, you can get it with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount. If you use the coupon code Lionsgate capital letters on my website, nordicl.com. Okay. These two. And then we have this card and the chakra card as well. <laughs> okay, let's just start here with the tarot cards and I actually think I'm gonna do like this always like to take the cards in the order where I took them out so we're gonna take it from the bottom we have six of wands success yeah <laughs> six of wands means success look at this eagle flying in the sky <clears throat> even the butterfly is rising from this you know Caterpillar couldn't fly, so the caterpillar were stuck in this darkness, it seems. But now it's lifting high. Golden eagle. Wow, it's like something, some big achievement here, or like kind of lifting off the ground in some way. Let's see what else we got here. We have king of swords. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> king of swords. Wow. Ten of cups. This is very nice. What's going on? It seems like you're lifting you're about to lift off the ground to some kind of even the eagle look at this even the eagle you know see it doesn't it's like almost like he's coming from some kind of dark tunnel and he's soaring this like almost looks like an opening here where he's gonna go through probably this is the sun but yeah but it feels like coming out of the darkness in some way you're being very guided and led i think like if something is going on in your life that's a little bit Disturbing for the moment. Yeah, I'm hearing sounds outside. There are some very strange sounds. Yeah, very strange sounds. So yeah, something disturbing. Yeah, there could be like a lot of things going on around you. You will come something like coming out of it. So like like I hear like you don't have to worry. It also seems like the the things that are going on in your life right now. It could be like some things are out of place but actually from the bigger picture golden eagle king of swords you know something with the bigger picture from 
from the view that your spirit guides has, they say like whatever you're going through now is a part kind of of the plan to move you up and above, up and above. And we have seven of pentacles as well. Hmm. Moving up and above. I keep feeling like you don't have, like, don't worry. <clears throat> Everything will be fine. You're being guided. Listen to your intuition. You're being very, very guided. King of Swords, Archangel Michael is definitely with you. With the King of Swords energy here. Guiding you, protecting you. Helping you. With the Seven of Pentacles, it feels like it has to go at a certain pace. It can't go too fast because it's like you're healing, you are learning, you are evolving as a human, you, your energy is shifting, things are changing, you know. The caterpillar can't go into becoming a butterfly faster than, you know, uh, faster than it takes. A flower can't bloom into becoming a flower faster than it, you know, this is something with like the, the law of nature. It, it has like, it's kind of like momentum or like it has its, uh, I wouldn't even call it like divine timing because this is something else. This is about like things falling into place, even with the 10 of cups here, you look all this, all the chords here. So it's like, there's bigger things at play here and things are kind of coming they're becoming aligned. They're becoming aligned for you to uh, get to that place where everything is aligned for your success, your enlightenment, uh, your big achievement, your freedom, your liberation. So I hear once again, like, <clears throat> don't stress. Don't stress it. Don't stress what's going on. Don't stress... Uh, like don't stress it in, in in a sense like you don't have to worry because they know what's going on <laughs> they know what's going on and they see the things that you're going through and it's all they say they're like yeah it's all okay you know this is all fine because once again from the bigger picture everything is coming together you're also you're healing you're integrating you're revolving you're going from the caterpillar from the butterfly it has its time and I also like, they say like, don't stress the time, but kind of like try to deal with everyday life because in everyday life, they say we are guiding you. In everyday life, you just, just strive towards the light. <laughs> you just keep going towards the light with the King of Swords. Keep yourself just aware and do kind of the, <clears throat> do conscious choices in your everyday life and conscious choices which are, which you know will lead you forward and not backwards or not like stagnant in any way. If you just keep doing this, <clears throat> uh, everything will come together here for some kind of big achievement. <laughs> That's nice. You know, we have the hot, hot, is this an eagle? I think this is an eagle as well. <laughs> Vision. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Vision, uh, third eye. Yeah. Two eagles here. That's cool. And even the blue here, once again, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is next to you. I mean, look at this. The golden eagle and the blue eagle. Vision. You're being very guided. Very, And I, I think like even if you're going through some emotions, some thoughts, some analyzing something or thinking about something, I think you know, you, 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 you can see, like kind of see beyond that. And the thing that you see beyond that, the thing that you've been feeling, like the truth that you have been feeling <laughs> is going to happen or the truth that you're kind of moving towards will happen. You just hold on to that light and that truth and everything will be okay. You will, six of wands and 10 of cups, you know, it's a very happy ending here and you will enjoy the fruits of your success big time. But with the seven of pentacles, it is a little bit of a journey. There's things happening. There's things happening. You embrace those things as a part of the journey because they are a part of the, the journey without those darker things almost here or the challenges, without the challenges, you would never become the butterfly. You would never reach your success or enlightenment. They are necessary for you to grow into this 
energy or this uh, place that you're going to yeah you're growing into that you know even the caterpillar can't become a butterfly without going through you know their whole body rips <laughs> when the when the wings comes yeah something with <laughs> like you're getting your angelic wings back maybe yeah for some of you you're really getting back like lost pieces of your purity and your soul is what i feel so something like taking back soul pieces so some of you can be dealing like with heavy karma heavy emotional wounds, heavy heavy karmic situations, which are showing up in the situation that you are heavy karmic emotions and thoughts that are being triggered in the situation that you are in in your life. Curiosity. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like looking beyond. I, I, I felt that already, you know, with the two eagles here and the, the big eye here, third eye. I, I, see, I feel like... And with the King of Swords. Wow, hard to talk. I feel like you really need to navigate yourself through the darkness. <clears throat> navigate through yourself through any negative emotions or thoughts and keep your vision. Because your vision is showing you the truth. Your vision is showing you where you're going and what you soon are going to enjoy. The Ten of Cups, you know, the happy ending for you, where you are content, where you are happy, where you feel fulfilled, where you are in harmony, you feel secure, everything worked out, you know, with the Six of Wands, these two together really shows, yes, it's worked out. Even the King of Swords here in the middle, you know, remover of obstacles, you will remove obstacles that are in the way. So keep yourself like awakened, curious you're like yes i'm going there there's obstacles on my path that's fine we all have obstacles on our path they can come in form of people karmic people they can come in form of old emotional wounds it can come the past is catching up with you yeah the arrow comes from behind something with the past is catching up with you maybe past emotions past feelings that you still haven't dealt with or some kind of past karmic situation you haven't dealt with because you haven't dealt with it another person that's acting the same way is coming up in your life or something like that but there is there are triggers here and they are okay it's like almost saying like okay hello trigger you are here you are my teacher now so whatever you are feeling whatever you're experiencing is your spiritual teacher if you are experiencing anger or if you're experiencing sadness or frustration i don't know what this is going to be the feeling or that you are observing yeah this is your teacher so let's see what else we got here 50 50 <clears throat> interesting card at this time things could go either way this is interesting it's like you're sitting in the middle yeah i agree yeah you this is, what I, this is what I felt as well. It's like you are right in the middle now. And it's like, it's almost like talking about keep, keep yourself balanced because you're going through something right now and it can be a little bit shaky. But you just keep yourself there. And I think, you know, this, whatever this is, will pass. Whatever this is, will pass. It's not just it will pass. It's also helping you, you know, to release something, to heal something, and to grow into the butterfly that you are becoming. Mmm, interesting. Solar plexus chakra. Let's see here if it wants to focus. Yeah, underactive solar plexus chakra. I do lack self-trust. Hmm. Yeah, this is why they keep, I felt like they wanted to tell you like it's going to be okay. And also like nothing that is happening is wrong. You know, sometimes we think like when bad things happen to us or when we're going through like a challenge or something or a difficult person is in our life <clears throat> or whatever, we think it's something wrong. <laughs> it's like I hear them laughing. They're like, no, it's not wrong. You know, this is the way it works <laughs> here on earth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're having a little bit fun with... <laughs> with uh, how it is here on earth because yes it's like this you know we can't avoid challenges here and uh, there are many things and also because you're breaking free you know you're liberating yourself you know you have enlightenment here the golden eager enlightenment so you're really like you you are 
uh, aiming towards your highest potential, <laughs> you know? And because you're aiming towards your highest potential, of course, all that baggage of karma needs to come up. So you have chosen this path as well. You, know, you have chosen to deal with this little bit heavier things because you want to reach your highest potential, whatever that means for you and whatever success and happiness that you want in your life as an individual soul. What's important for you this lifetime as an individual soul, only you know. You know, it's different things. Of course, this is a general reading. So of course, it's going to be different things. <clears throat> but something like with your, you know, solar plexus is also about action, trusting yourself to, so that you can get that place in the world that you deserve. You, This is a little bit of a Cinderella story, I feel here as well, where you go like kind of from the underdog and, you know, you have poor chances or you come from a background or a place that's not really... Um, like you didn't have life on your side to become successful in some sense but I feel like yeah I keep feeling like underdog Cinderella story you're the one who comes from the gutters and reaches the top whatever the top means for you so solar plexus chakra is very important actually confidence and trust hmm let's I think we're gonna put this could we put it no it doesn't fit there let's just put it here okay let's see what else we got here we have coming together and this is a tarot card this is the two of cups wow 50 50 at this time things could go either way 50 50 is half two is like you know yeah two side two half <laughs> so once again like if <laughs> work whatever is work whatever is happening in your life work it through with a lot of wisdom with a lot of spiritual awareness and with a lot of patience you can't stress this it needs to be addressed it needs somehow to be dealt with with confidence you need to almost face it yeah you need almost to face it and take like certain this very strong decisions for yourself that you know is for your own best yeah because two of cups here two of cups and ten of cups i mean what is this, this is a super happy ending here uh where really you know coming together you will get something here beautiful Two of cups, hmm, you know, blend, two of cups is two energies blending together, coming together. Get, you can be getting something that belongs with you, whatever that is, you know, it could be a new home, a new job, it could be your love, the love of your life, it could be anything here, but coming together in love. So once again, it's going to work out. I keep like feeling like, and <laughs> I don't know why I want to sit down and cry like a little girl today is like boo hoo 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 so yeah i'm getting a little bit of this energy also i've been meditating a lot lately you know i just went through my own retreat i'm just gonna start a new one on monday because i felt like something big came out like a chunk of i don't know what from the past yeah ch chunk from the past came up so that i need to deal with so but yeah boo hoo hoo you know these are just emotions feelings yes things are triggering us it's not to undermine it in any way but it, it, it seems like it's completely you you it's it's you can completely overcome this and not just overcome this but you can overcome this with a lot of success so that the end result you will be very happy with the end result yeah very happy with the end result let's see mojo bag <clears throat> justice and karma yeah i'm probably dealing with like a lot of karmic emotions old triggers and things like that Mojo bag is also kind of like both like a like they, they make these little bags and they put different things in it like to protect you uh, like a, like the bag works like to protect you and call it in spirits but also like a lucky bag so and I felt Archangel Michael is very very close to you extra during this time because something like you're going through like something very like maybe a very important transition in your life where you're like ready to release something that has been laying very heavy in your bag <laughs> the baggage the baggage of karma in your bag almost like big bricks that was like oh you know so it feels like you're you're like ready to release that and i think archangel michael is with you because there's a lot of like tricky feelings like maybe very intense feelings maybe very intense empower overpowering feelings and thoughts maybe even like having to deal with other people or something like that so i think it's very like almost like standing wow he's very close <laughs> it's like he's almost standing just next to you i don't know if it's left side or right side or maybe just back you can just feel now when i talk but he's definitely just there 
and it's almost like I feel very safe. So you can you can be very safe that nothing is gonna go like too far to the in, into. You're not gonna be. <clears throat> There's not going to be any attacks on you or something like that can go bad. Like you're safe. That's what I hear. You're just, you're very protected and very safe. I feel like even I, I felt today like I'm going to wear blue. Every time I choose blue blue nail nail polish, I know Archangel Michael, you know, I can feel that energy. You know, I start seeing a lot of blue. So if you want to, like, you can wear something blue as well. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's see. What else we got here? Status. <clears throat> 10 purify polishing image hmm trapped in toxic positivity that was interesting so these cards are super nice but very complex so i am polluted i am pure i am polluted stubborn i am the sum of my past the influence of the shaping parent stagnation stagnating by refusing to look at your fears yeah once again there's something from the past that has catched up with you it could be a karmic person situation feelings it's all mixed up together you know uh and the light side here is i am pure sincere and heartfelt intention continuing your life path peacefully known for being skilled and trusted in your work yeah purity yeah you're purifying yourself so that you can move on 10 i don't know if this is meant to be the 10th house but it matches <laughs> because 10th house is the house of career and work and also status so see here you're rising up here you're going up here yeah going up once again with the eagle and the butterfly everything even you know yeah flying lifting <laughs> yeah you're lifting so we talked about that you had some heavy bricks in your bag of karmic baggage <laughs> so because you're letting go of this also you're lifting higher and higher so yeah lifting higher and higher and this is kind of the process that takes a little bit of time because you're changing your energy on and you're changing your energy on an energetic level that's very deep almost down to the dna level you know and because you're doing this it's it's you know it needs to take because your body can only take so like it has to happen uh i know like myself sometimes you know also uh, with kundalini energy when 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 i activated or when i went through the kundalini awakening and, and it was way too soon for me it was not on purpose i just was suffering so much actually so i was uh doing a lot of intense spiritual practices i was meditating for 10 12 hours a day you know at that time because i was like deep there was big traumas and a lot of pain i couldn't do anything else but meditating but then you know i awakened my uh, kundalini and that was way too soon because the kundalini is very powerful and i still had like big traumas in my body but then i released like big chunks because of that and there was like periods of my life where i became confused i couldn't think you know so it can't with that said i know like it can't go too fast because you can lead to even to psychosis and things like that but once again archangel michael is here you know we, we already said that nothing bad can happen to you but i'm just saying this because sometimes we just want things to go very fast we just want to reach that goal but it has its it has its process you know and it's a reason why it has its process seven of pentacles really brings us back to earth here where things need to take its time we need to embrace the journey the good the bad and ugly yeah so embrace the journey the good the bad and ugly you are purifying yourself you are reaching you are moving steadily towards wherever you want to go <clears throat> the truth is very clear in you you are in touch with your calling and your purpose maybe you think you're confused i think no you're not confused actually you do know what you want <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> confusion sometimes comes from we know what we want but all the things around us is not aligned with that but we're working those things through you know one after one so yeah one after one acceptance <clears throat> hmm we have a pie here, which is interesting because we have solar plexus chakra, which is the stomach area, you know. Uh, root chakra, yeah, acceptance, cherry. Hmm. I almost want to put these two together. I think I'm going to do that. There's a need for you to accept who you are. Yeah, surrender and accept 
to who you are. Like, don't try to run away from a part of you that you don't like. It needs to be embraced. It needs to be loved. <laughs> you need to kiss every little part of you, the good, the bad, and ugly, the shadow self, the things that you don't like, the things that you do like. So, like, if we try to run away from a part of ourself, it will always catch up with us, I think. Yeah. So just accept. Your, 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 it feels like you're healing something very deep. Like, yeah, something very deep is up here now. And this is great. This is why also you will lift so high when you are, like, kind of, you are... Um, this is like becoming dissolved. Yeah, it's becoming dissolved and it becomes purified. <sighs> becomes just light. Hmm. So something deep. We have concentration. Okay. And the last card here is coral with nurture. This is a time where you need to be nice towards yourself. This is a time when you need to accept yourself. The good, the bad, the ugly. You need to hug yourself. You need to embrace yourself. You need to practice self-love. You need to surrender to whatever it is. You need to... <clears throat> well, you don't need to do anything. This is just advice. <laughs> yeah, so you just take what, what resonates with you. But with the King of Swords and concentration here, concentration for me, you know, reminds me of Anapana meditation. You know, breath awareness meditation, one of the most ancient meditation techniques that leads you to enlightenment, actually. So, yeah, uh, but concentration of the mind with the king of swords. Not, it's, it's very important that you don't go, don't lose yourself. <laughs> don't lose yourself. And if you lose yourself, you are, uh, be aware that you're losing yourself. You just go like, okay, I'm losing myself now. Let's see how many days it takes. You know, I'm completely lost in these emotions, these feelings. Just try to bring like a little bit of awareness into what's happening because that's going to help you. Because every Every time we bring that uh, dimension of awareness, even when we're completely lost, I do that all the time, you know, I feel like, okay, I'm completely lost in these energies, I'm acting like this, I'm thinking this, I'm doing this now, I'm doing this, I'm taking this choice, which I know is not good, but I'm going to do it anyways, and I know it, <clears throat> we bring in this uh, dimension of light, which means it's not, it's not the ego or the pain body, pain body operating from it almost like automatic function, which means we're still dissolving things. So always be aware, even if you don't like what you're doing or what you're thinking, what you're feeling, be aware of that and also be aware that you're not liking it. <laughs> you know, Always this higher, yeah, golden eagle, the owl, the one more eagle, always this higher perspective with curiosity. Be very curious about yourself. Be curious about your dark sides and, and things like that. Without, you know, we need to have this little bit of detached uh we need to be a detached otherwise we'd be sucked into it of course so <clears throat> with that said you just take care of yourself the best you can bring in spiritual awareness uh take care of yourself like i said yeah and, and i think things will just work out for you there seems to be something that you're working through right now that's gonna it's a little bit more challenging but it will be fine yeah like er, uh, like always it will be fine. I think we're going to take <clears throat> three last tarot cards here. Whoops. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we're going to do these actually because they... Actually, it is three cards. Yeah. So, yeah. Three cards just flew out here. We have... What do we have here? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, nine. nine. Nine of ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nine of ones. Yeah, I can clearly see it's nine of ones, but... Nine of Wands, yeah, it's you. It's nine of Wands talks about you know uh, last push. <laughs> you need to push forward, gather strength. The battle is not over. Don't give up, even if you're drained, even if you're tired and things like that. If you're drained and tired, you know, take care of yourself, nurture yourself. You know, be aware of what you're eating. This is a you can't eat McDonald's every day and then go through through all these things. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't work body needs to be healthy for you to be for you to be able to conquer this king of cups wow i love king of cups and the last card here is ten of wands Ooh. <laughs> yeah it's the end of the sea here it shows it even shows here this is where you are maybe now it's the end of something here you're lifting above this with the, the, the success card here, the six of wands. You're going to lift above this. You're not even close to this. You're, 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 this baggage is 
over. Ten of Wands, this heavy burden that you're carrying, it's going to be over. Uh, King of Cups and King of Swords. Wow, you have a lot of very benevolent and very powerful guides with you right now. Uh, pile number one, you need to know that you have very, very, they're very, I almost feel like Christ energy here, Jesus energy as well. You know, Jesus as a guide. Yeah, I feel him as well here, very, very close to you. Even Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene. Uh, Saint Germain, so I don't know who you are, but yeah, you have a lot of, lot of love and, and guides. It seems like you're breaking through something very, very profound and important right now, where you are really transitioning from, I think after you've done, you're done with this, I think your whole life is going to change because your energy is completely going to purify itself and change. Like nothing is going to stop you from lifting very high after this. Yeah. <laughs> great pile number one yeah this was a great reading okay pile number one this was your reading if you want to share your story in the comment section please feel free to do so either way pile number one i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye hello pile number two and welcome to your reading you felt drawn to the elephant so let's see what we have here behind the tape we have community and perseverance Pers per perseverance <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that so let's just keep it here and let's dive into the first half of your reading we're gonna do that with taking start let's take three tarot cards so what is the urgent messages from your spirit guides that you need to hear now yeah we did four in pile number one so we're gonna do four cards for you too actually okay and then we're gonna take uh two, two cards <laughs> from my own oracle deck and if you missed the intro during the month of august you can get my oracle deck with free worldwide shipping plus 10 percent discount if you use the coupon code lionsgate capital letters on my website nordicl.com i said three and yeah three we're gonna take three so you're getting a lot of <clears throat> extra cards here. Okay, we have a chakra card. We have this card. And we're just going to start. And actually, I'm going to pick these up. <clears throat> Queen, of, Queen of Cups looks very relaxed here. <laughs> hmm, yeah, very relaxed pos posture. Okay. Damn, what's going on? We have the Empress. Hmm. Even the elephant makes me think of Ganesha, you know, abundance, a remover of obstacles, bringer of abundance. Queen of Cups and the Empress. We have the Devil. Hmm. Remover of obstacles. Yeah, and the elephant is a pretty big creature. Removing some attachment here and justice. Wow, <laughs> I'm happy we took the fourth card, but some, because somehow it, it it made sense with the justice here, the justice and the devil, and the elephant. Okay, let's do these three as well. I'm already getting a message, but I want to see. Yeah, I want to see these three cards. Toxic. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Toxic, yeah, toxic attachment. Toxic attachment. Transition. Nice. So let's see here. Toxic attachment, transition, and purpose. Wow, it's almost like you're with the, the uh, <laughs> oh, ladybug. What's wrong with me? Pile number one, I almost called the eagle uh, hawk. So yeah, uh, the turtle, <laughs> the ladybug. <laughs> So yeah, almost like you're moving away here from this transition, moving away, and it's been, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been, it, it, it seems to be some something big, like there's big energies moving here. It, it almost feels like you've been so stuck in this. You've been so stuck in something, or you are maybe so stuck in something right now, but it's like something with justice is coming here. The devil, some attachment will be released here something is going to help you big time. It's almost like, I think you're outgrowing this actually. 
Because Queen of Cups and the Empress feels like your energy here. And the Devil and Justice is two sides of you. This shows two sides of you. It's the light side and the shadow side. The light side of you with the Queen of Cups and the Empress. Woohoo! I mean, what's going on, pile number two? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, but you're going through some kind of glow up, energetic glow up, mental glow up, emotional glow up. And <clears throat> you're growing in abundance. You're, you're spiritually growing. You're personally growing. And it's like almost like nothing can stop you. You're like healing maybe faster than ever or like something is like really... Wow, <laughs> yeah, this is how I feel. I feel like, wow, what's going on with you? It's great. And then you have the shadow side of you. And the shadow side of you, you look at the devil's even pissed off here. Yeah, <clears throat> look at the devil's face here. He's like, yeah, you're not leaving me, <laughs> you know? And this can be your ego, this can be your pain. This is an attachment, you know? Attachment can be anything. It can be your thoughts, it can be your to your feelings, it can be to your own pain, to your past. Um... Uh, it can be, you know, to some pe some per people, karmic people, can be addiction, it can be anything, you know. But many times it's a mix of all of these things, yeah. So this is a very clear showing your shadow, light as your light and your shadow. And I like it here because we have toxic and the devil and we have justice here. Justice uh, makes me think of Pallas Athena, the Greek goddess of, I think, war and truth. I think, you know, uh, I only know her as a guide, you know, not like a, like a myth, myth, mythologically, but like I know her energy as a guide and I know she's very sharp. I love her energy, very, very sharp energy. Comes with a lot of truth, a lot of power, a lot of courage. And it's like crystal clear every time Pallas Athena comes. So like it feels like you're being freed from, from something. This is very feminine energy here. So it's like heal, feminine energy is nurturing energy, is healing energy. It could be that you have some kind of mother wound or some kind of wound when it comes to nurture, being nurtured, being taken care, being taken care of your mother, being taken care of life. It could be something with your health, but something with being nurtured being safe, being calm, sleeping restfully on your mother's, in your mother's or father's arms. Like, I don't know, like something is like healing that, healing what you didn't get. Uh, yeah, healing what you didn't get. Hmm. Let's look at these cards as well. Grapes. Wow. <laughs> Virgo energy. That's wonderful because I felt that this is uh, has a lot to do with your health. Yeah, because Virgo energy is connected to the sixth house. Sixth house is the house of work and health. Uh, everyday routines. You know, also it's actually the, the, the house of bad luck and illnesses. Whatever bad luck, <clears throat> Whoever cursed you, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I think I think it's because yeah, I did something bad in the past life and somebody cursed me. And then when I see this from a higher perspective, somehow it became funny. So yeah, sometimes people wonder why I laugh at these weird moments because you know I always sense things and you know I always laugh at myself actually. So anyway, somebody cursed you in the past because you did something. You were you have been really you you've been on the darker side in your past lives pile number two you've done things like all of us you know we come here to earth to experience both being good and and being bad you know because we and then we <clears throat> this is how we evolve as a soul and then we transcend all of these things and we ascend and because of this experience we become uh, we evolve as a soul and this is the reason why we even come here to earth because we want to have these experiences and here on earth there is duality and we can experience bad versus good darkness versus light so you have done this I mean, something like they're saying like yes you were some like evil witch or like evil shamanic man i see you're like an evil shamanic uh, man alchemist i don't want to call you evil sounds very bad but like you've been like a little bit on the something with like you have if you don't resonate with it, the message is just, just like you have dealt with your own darkness. That's what they're saying. You have dealt with your own darkness. But why, why, why do I want to cry? <laughs> it's done. You don't have to feel shame anymore. You don't have to feel you're not worthy anymore. You have dealt with it. It's balanced now. So probably in this lifetime, you really had some a-holes, <laughs> you know, that you have hurt in maybe past lifetimes or they have hurt you. Something like it's balanced now. 
the justice now it is balanced so what is happening here now is that you're starting to realize that <clears throat> You are starting to realize that and you're starting to, you're, you're really starting to release deep, very deep, <laughs> yeah, very, 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 very deep chords to very, very dark people, dark people and circumstances. Uh, you're, you are done with that energy. You got a taste of, of it from all the sides. You know, you, you, you were bad, you were good, you were this, you were that, you were hurt, you were the one hurting. The cycle is closed. <clears throat> the cycle is closed so now it's more about hmm allowing yourself to be worthy allowing yourself to be worthy something with like realizing that you are loved just the way you are yeah something this is something very, there's some, some deep wound here when it's connected to self-love self-worth shame guilt word like wordiness uh confidence and this is very <laughs> this is like oh you, because of you because you have these wounds uh the the outside of your world is has also been reflecting that you're moving <clears throat> you're, you're like you're you have changed you have healed and changed energetically but the, the the outside of your life is still reflecting the old version of you. Root chakra. I am trusting others balanced. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, because you haven't been trusting others because others has been hurting you. I think what's going on here, what they're saying... <clears throat> They're, they're saying this, the, the, the first message is, the darkness is done. You did your part. You are worthy. There's nothing to be... I think, you know, there, there's a lot of feminine energy. You're, you have like Mary Magdalene, even something with Mary Magdalene energy, Isis energy, even Kali. Yeah, Pala Satena we talked. Yeah, a lot of these feminine uh, archetypes almost or guides, you know. <clears throat> And they're all with you here and they are trying to make you heal this. I keep hearing like mother wound, mother wound, cut the cord, cutting the, cutting the cord. Hmm, tra maybe you had a trauma bond with your mother, but it could, could also be, you know, the, fa the father because it's the nurturing energy here. Yeah, even the elephant here makes me think of masculine energy, the devil. <clears throat> hmm. You need to know that your mother or father or both of them, poo, pile number two. I mean, yeah, this was a heavy story for many of you. <clears throat> this goes way back. <laughs> your karma with them is like, I feel like it hurts my, it feels like, you know, when I think about the karmic bond, I feel like somebody's hitting me in the head and screaming at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, it was a very heavy bond with them. Yeah. And I, it's something like breaking you free from the pain. Breaking you free from the pain. Let's do more cards. Yeah, let's just keep on going here. Wow! So this is a tarot card as well. This is Ace of Cups. Love abounds. Yeah, I mean this... Some overflowing healing energy with the Ace of Cup. Mm. And I am trusting others. I, I mean, your whole... It's, the way you relate to other human beings is colored i mean so colored by how your parents treated you and it's so colored by how people has treated you in in, in past life experiences and it's been hard for you to love and to let yourself be loved it's been hard for you to manifest and let yourself manifest big time i th i feel like I feel like you great. I feel like I don't know. It's like I, I feel I feel grace. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of grace energy around you. A lot of feminine guides, water energy, obstacles being removed. Hmm. Surrender and let yourself be loved. I hear. Surrender. Yeah. Wow. Once again, made me want to cry. Surrender and let yourself be loved. 
Yeah, it's this is now that you're entering that phase. So for many of you, <clears throat> the karmic people are like gone. You know, you you the, the you had certain very heavy karmic people that you were meant to meet and you meant to have certain experiences with if you're if it was your parents, like we said here, who very big impact, very, very big impact on you. This goes very this goes past uh, this is a very old karmic uh what, what should we call it like a karmic baggage that you needed to deal with and it, it wasn't easy almost like I, I feel like i want to i'm feeling it now i'm feeling something now okay let me just yeah it's put something is like pushing against me so one thing it's like <clears throat> there's a fight here going on right now there's a fight here going on and I think there's even forces trying to make you think that you can't survive on your own or kind of like trying to trigger those old wounds but you're already free from them. So even if you are already in this energy, there's something pushing you here. The devil is coming here and trying to like fool you or trick you into... kid. This could even come like your own thoughts or tricking you and fooling you to thinking like, oh no, but I am not done with my healing yet or I don't deserve this yet or I need to deal with this or I need to do this or I need to do that so there's a lot of like something is tricking you to believe something about yourself that's not true could even be that this, there's a person in your life because this talks about you evolving and you changing and that you are done and that you are really in your feminine healing energy the heal the healer within you has awakened pile number two you are self-healing now yeah, you're just self-healing because you have awakened that within you. And somebody's feeling that you are pushing, pulling away from them. And they're coming after you because they don't want you to pull away because they need your energy. They need your energy to sustain themselves in a very toxic way. It could be also about control and manipulation here. Or like they're... They are projecting things onto you that they don't want to take care of. That they don't like about themselves. And I see you pulling away and they're coming after you. <laughs> Almost chasing you. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> Black walnut with discernment and self-worth. Wow, we talked so much about self-worth. Yeah, discernment. Hmm. They're telling you... I mean, this whatever who, when you're pulling back from something or someone and you're choosing self love, and this something or someone comes chasing after you to make you feel bad, I mean, that's a pretty obvious, <laughs> pretty obvious that you know this is very toxic and this is somebody that doesn't want the best for you. So, this is like discernment, use your discernment here, you know, <laughs> to just go like, yeah, I know, you know what, <laughs> yeah, you just. Uh, very healthy boundary here you need to put and, and, and you know yeah push this person away from doing that and also you're learning now because you were hurt a lot and manipulated a lot by people around you i am trusting others i think you're really starting to open up for very healthy relationships very deep and healthy relationships the elephant you know they have a pack yeah, a very loving pack, actually, the elephants, I think, you know, you always see them walking together. So you have a pack and you're meant to experience very beautiful relationships. You're meant to, like, take off those colored glasses of people hurting you so that you can trust other people because there are beautiful people in the world. They are loyal people and very loving people that want your best. So this is what you're moving away from. Something doesn't want, somebody doesn't want you to do that. Just be aware of this person. Use your discernment when you are in touch with this this person. And, you know, maybe you need to decide if you... What kind of boundaries you need to put to protect yourself. Moon... Wow, interesting. Moon in Cancer. Hmm. Very emotional, you know, with the Moon in Cancer. We have, I am nourished and I am starved. Yeah, I am starved. I am nourished. Hmm. Oversensitive, smothers others, easily rocked by criticism, not meeting any of your own needs. And the light side here is loyal, self-protected, sensing other needs, flowing with the spirit of place, emotional, expansive expression. Yeah, I, I think, you know, moon in Cancer, because the moon... Uh, 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 yeah. 
both the moon and cancer belongs in the fourth house, the house of home and family and parents, you know, and speci specifically the mother. And I kept saying this could be a mother wound. Yeah, specifically the mother. Uh, it's the way we feel safe in the world. It's about the nurturing. It's about being nurtured. And spirit, I, and I, I almost feel like spirit guys, it almost like there is no message, but there's, it almost feels like you're already in this energy, the queen of cups and the empress. You, with the ace of cups here, something has awakened in you. You have activated your ability to self-heal. And because of this, now you're starting to realize your self-worth. And you're starting to like really, 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 really grow into being healed. Almost like the bad things that happened to you when you were a child didn't happen at that level. And this is going to make you, this is making you become a very balanced and loving person. And it's like, it's very important that you let this happen and be discerning here that, the, that there is something that wants you, that doesn't want to let go of you. And for some of you, if you are like kind of in a relationship and you're on separation in, and you are like in separation, it's when you pull back that they're going to come after you. And it's very important for you to recognize that, that when you pull back and when you're really starting to let go of them and when you're starting to feel good, they're going to try to re-enter your life. But it's important for you to understand they are, they are just doing this because they're losing control over you. So it's a very, there's a lot of manipulati manipulative energy here. So look at the devil and the toxic here. And even with justice, palace, Athena energy here wants you to see the truth very clearly and choose yourself because you're healing your roots now with the moon in cancer. You're healing your roots and you're putting down new roots. And this is good for you. You are getting what you didn't get by your mother and father when you were a child. You're healing that yourself. This is very powerful. I think you are becoming a very powerful person because of this with a lot of wisdom, <laughs> with a lot of heart chakra wisdom. Wow. Yeah, I mean, wow. Yeah, because of this that you needed to go through, you know, you didn't have a mother and a father, you were hurt and all these things. Life was so hard for you when it comes to other people. Your relationship with yourself was so hard. Now you're finding yourself, you're healing, and this is bringing you amazing wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Expansion. Wisdom. Heart. Wisdom and expansion. What's wrong with you? It's like I can't find the words. Yeah. So let's see what else we have. Spider creativity. Spider also, you know, is very connected to feminine energy because feminine energy is very connected to creativity. So it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you know, we all need nurturing feminine energy. It's the, it's the yin energy. So I think, you know, uh, I think you are on a very, very beautiful healing path. Yeah, where you are expanding a lot where you are healing a lot, the healer within you is awakening, the, the heart chakra within you is really maturing with the queen of cups and the empress. Wow, look at this very high mature energy, very high mature energy. And it's like, it's it's wonderful where you're going. Yeah, it's like, yes, yeah, this is wonderful. Uh, it looks good. <laughs> it looks great. You're awakening your creativity here even. So maybe you're going to start to I don't know, like you want to create something beautiful into the world. There's going to be many new doors opening up for you because you're really getting in touch with your deeper energy, your deeper feminine energy. So it feels like for some, many of you, there's going to be like a lot of artistic things wanting to come out of you. And I see new paths opening up for you, new paths of a way to support yourself. Some of you, you're like, you're going to create something and this is going to help you kind of become self-sufficient uh, when it, financially. You, something with like you're going to find your independence. You're going to find your financial independence. Maybe that's important for you, but I feel like you're going to find your financial independence. And it's going to come from your own hands with Spider here. Your own creativity, your own talents, gifts, and abilities is going to bring you to a place of... Yeah, financial independence. That's what I hear. Nine of Swords. Mm. Wow. A lot of suffering. King of Cups. Wow, the Queen got her king. Yes. <laughs> and we have Two of Swords. 
Yeah, I mean, so yeah, it is tricky for sure. Nine of Swords, two, two of Swords. At times you don't know what to do. That's also why they say use your discernment. Be you are you are you're growing and you the, there's two part there's two things here, the light and the shadow. You need to be aware of the light within you. You need to be aware that you are healing and that you're growing and that you're beautiful and that you are loved. But you also need to be aware of the shadow aspect here, that there are things that are still like you are attached to, there are things that are triggering you, there are things that wants to pull you back and wants to keep you stuck and sad. You know, I'm worried and depressed and stressed here. And with the Two of Swords here, you need to use your discernment to keep on doing like choices here. You need to keep on choosing the light here because the light is going to win over the shadow here. And this is what you guys want you to do. Overcome the obstacles here with Elephant or Ganesh energy. Bring in the abundance that you deserve. Become this independent, self-sufficient uh, financially independent woman or man, you know, expansion, the healer is awakened here. I don't know what I'm saying even anymore. I'm just mixing words. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just, I'm starting to release a lot of energies and I always become like a little bit confused <clears throat> because it's hard to speak when you purge big chunks of energies. So anyways, pile number two, Queen of Cups also got her King of Cups. Look at this. I am trusting others. There is a beautiful, beautiful relationship for you with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. They belong to each other. Very spiritual relationship. And uh, yeah, love abounds. Yeah, very spiritual relationship. Maybe twin flames, soulmates, but somebody that gets you and somebody that you get and a relationship that will grow into something amazing. Mm, that is also in your plan. Okay, pile number two, this was your reading. If you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Either way, pile number two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number three and welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to the rabbit. Let's see what we have here behind the tape. Approval and sensitivity. Okay, so let's just put it here in the corner and let's dive into the first half of your reading and we're gonna do that by taking three tarot cards so some urgent messages from your spirit guides and uh, we're gonna do four cards because we did that in oh <laughs> look at that the two cards that we needed yeah we did that both in pile number one and two so <clears throat> i'm just gonna put them like this and we're also gonna take uh, two cards from my own Oracle deck. And if you missed the intro during the month of August, you can get it with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount if you use the coupon code LIONSGATE, capital letters on my website, nordicl.com. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just put it over there. And we have this card and the chakra card. So let's just start. <sighs> Let me take a breath. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Hmm, that goes good together with rabbit because rabbit often uh, symbolizes abundance and fertility. So Wheel of Fortune, also luck. Nine of Pentacles, nice. <laughs> Nice, enjoying the luxuries of life. High Priestess. Okay, what's going on here? This is a good reading, I think. And Ace of Wands. Nice. Hmm. Some urgent messages from your spirit. We're going to do these two as well. We have Kindness. A lot of happy cards here and Home. Something is wait. Yeah, I just I forgot about the spirit guides and I wanted to tap into them. So let's let me just do that for one second. Actually, what I hear them saying is like you are doing exactly all the right things. There's nothing you are completely hundred percent on the right path for you to reach what it what it is that you want. There's not one you're not taking one step wrong almost. Yeah, there's not one step that you're taking wrong. You're moving directly towards your manifestation. And it, this, 
the manifestation there's a crow outside the manifestation is also moving directly towards you so it's like you are walking like this and manifestation is coming like this manifestation almost feels like ace of wands so it's coming very speedy towards you so even with home here if you're manifesting a home this is a home but even home here seems like something is coming home to you so something will be yours here and I just feel like a very happy, clear message that they are really sh saying, like, you will get what you want. <laughs> like, maybe you need to hear that, but that's what they're saying. You will get what you want. This will be yours. Yeah, this will be yours. You've been feeling it intuitively with the high priestess here. And nine of pentacles here also shows, you know, nine of pentacles with wheel of fortune really shows like this is going to be yours and you're going to enjoy it to the fullest. You're going to approval with the rabbit. They're saying yes. They're just saying yes. You're trying to manifest something. They, they are saying yes, you're going to get it. Wheel of Fortune. Good karma is working in your favor. This is just, I don't even know how we're going to go deeper with this reading because it was such a clear message. You're trying to manifest something. They know what it is. You know what it is. You're going to get it. You're, you're straight on the path here. Let's see what else we got. Roses. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like roses or rose petals or enjoy and they're saying like enjoy it wow why do i want to i want to cry a little bit yeah <laughs> pisces energy yeah i know pisces likes to cry i think a very emotional sign so yeah pisces energy cry a little bit because you're gonna get this there are rose petals on the path <laughs> towards your manifestation here and i see how it's yeah i think ace of wands is actually I, like i said it feels like it's coming very fast towards you it feels like the manifestation is coming faster towards you than you are walking towards the manifestation so probably it's gonna come quicker than you think so say that you are saving money to buy a house or you are trying to whatever you're trying to manifest here you know maybe love with the roses here somebody's gonna yeah maybe love something like that uh let's not go into what it is but say that you're thinking like okay you know maybe next summer you know or next fall or maybe in two months or maybe in one month this is gonna happen i think you can take that time by and then divide it by half and it, so it's gonna come quicker to you it's gonna come much quicker to you than you think and i think you're going to enjoy this a lot yeah it seems like there's going to be uh, a lot of happiness in your life and even with the kindness card here I think you're vibrationally pile number three I think you're in a very good energy you know look how peaceful you look here looking at the bee you know many times when we look at the bee you know we go like oh people you know they become don't sting me and they become scared and they start making noises but look at you you're all peaceful here you're looking at that bee so yeah uh I, I once again i think you're in a very good energy and it's because of this you are there's some there's some softness within you yeah <laughs> something is soft within you it could be that you're coming it could be that you're coming from pile number two or why i can never remember pile, pile number one <laughs> who am i when i am at pile number three but i think pile two um three went good together here so if you want to watch another pile watch pile number two so anyways because you're in a very good energy and things are just happening here for you now and something has shifted you're you there's some like kind <laughs> you're like there's some kindness within you so and this kindness or this uh, softness or this healing energy within you is like very aligned with what you want actually so it's like it's almost like a feminine energy and this was why i said maybe pile number two because pile number two showed like a lot of yin uh, energy you got the high priestess here which once again is a very feminine energy here so yin energy is like really surrendering it's very flowy you know we have pisces here as well so it's like dreamy so something is really moving towards you but with ace of wands with a lot of power and a lot of like wow you know so it's like whatever you want is something big so when it when it reaches you you know walking on this rose petals here towards you yeah maybe somebody's getting married you know or you know there's a passionate meeting here maybe you're trying to manifest the love of your life you know he's coming or she's coming very quickly here with a lot of love and love romance um nice i mean it's very very nice it's going to be like the meeting is like going to be like love at first sight almost you know you seeing the house whoo love at first sight you seeing this partner or this whatever this is you know love at first sight it's it's like i feel excited <laughs> yeah i feel excited and i want to say like this is going to happen within the next six months yeah 
six, six to no, no, what they're giving me many times, two to six months, they're saying now. This is going to happen within the next two to six months. In, in some of you rare cases, eight months. <laughs> yeah, something like it's going to happen soon. And I, for me, that's soon because this seems to be something big. It seems to be something very big happening here. What do we have here? <clears throat> Crown chakra is underactive. I lack, I, a lack of trust in the universe. A lack of trust in the universe. Wow, you're going to be surprised. <laughs> Pile number uh, th three, three, pile number three. You're gonna be surprised, yeah, because there is a th you are you are disconnected. You can't see this happening, and uh, so yeah, when, I, I yeah, I really think it's gonna come. Uh, uh, even if you are very aligned and you are kind of on the right right path, it's like there's there's like some piece of the puzzle. It could be you know we have the seven chakras, you know. Um, there's more, but yeah, let's just talk about the seven and the crown chakra, you know, is the one on top. So it's like, I think like there's like some kind of last piece of the puzzle that you're working through now. That's maybe why it's also still taking certain time. Uh, so the last piece of the puzzle is going to fall into place and you're going to be completely open to embrace and let this, uh, wonderful abundance happen. Mm manifestation of abundance yeah well yeah i said it in the beginning i have to take a breath <laughs> just breathe breathe four of swords mm, peace the struggle is over we also have the crow yeah i said a crow also what's what is wrong <laughs> what is it why can't i speak today <laughs> wow the synchronous synchronicities today because I think I just said like a couple of minutes ago, there was a crow outside. So dashed hopes, look at this, dashed hopes and mourn, mourn, mourning and a lack of trust in the universe. Wow. So you, there's going to be, with this manifestation coming through for you, with this wonderful, passionate, almost, you know, coming with ASO once, like coming with like, Wow, a lot of energy and like, whoa, I am here in your life with a lot of positivity coming into your life. You're going to be, there's going to be deep healing for you. Very deep healing for you when it comes in lack, when it comes uh, in the areas of lack, something that you hadn't, haven't had before. So something is going to be very deeply healed with this happening for you. So it's not just in your good karma that this is going to be manifested. It's, it's also written in your life purpose, in your life contract, that at a certain stage of your life, this big positive manifestation, this big positive dream is supposed to become truth. Because... It's not just like materially uh, enjoying it or spiritually enjoying it, but it also has to do with something very deeply healing to your soul, which you are meant to go through this lifetime. You're meant to heal deeply your soul by getting this love, this home, this security, this safety, this financial abundance, whatever it is. So it's very, very important. Good news is moving towards you right now as we speak. Wheel of Fortune, universe is conspiring in your favorite right, favor right now when we speak. Rose petals are being thrown on your path. <laughs> you know, it's so protected and so loved. And whatever this is, is coming straight towards you. Yeah, nothing can sting you here. Nothing can sting you. Not even you. We said like you're not taking one step wrong. Your energy is super aligned. Maybe you're thinking, yes, but I do have a lack of trust in the universe. But yes, I do have dashed hopes and mourning here. Yes, I do have negative thoughts. So how can I be aligned with this beautiful thing that we're talking about here? Because there is higher forces at play here. That's why there is higher forces at play. Yeah, so there's something there's something that's not in your control. This is why it's coming faster towards you than you are walking towards it. Because you can only we can only walk as fast towards what we want, uh, depending on what kind of vibration that we have. But because so so that's why. But it's coming towards you because it wants 
to come to you. It wants to be yours. It's meant to be yours. <laughs> so it's like, wow, this is very exciting. And it's going to be so healing for you. And it's going to be so nice for you. The, the, with the four of swords here, there's going to be a sense of tranquility and inner peace. It's like, oh, okay, fine. Now I can rest. Now I have found my peace here because now this peace, this, this thing that was lacking within me here, now that's, that part is fulfilled here. Yeah, that part is now fulfilled. We have Virgo. Hmm. Seek and sort. Okay, we have I am unsophisticated, works too hard, overly critical, seeker of perfection. <laughs> and on the light side, we have I am refined, musical musical chemistry yeah musical chemistry yeah this is what's happening here there's rose petals there is musical there is chemistry yeah for some of you this is really talking about your significant other and i mean if you haven't had love and if you haven't met the one this is really talking about that some of you it's like you are in the right energy now for this is coming towards you wow and it's going to be a very powerful meeting a very very powerful meeting for some of you yeah for some of you this is something completely else you know it could be a home or whatever you know another type of manifestation but it's going to be the same musical chemistry you see that house and you're like wow this is my home or this is what i'm supposed to get or my dream is coming through and there's music playing and you know all these things so yeah it's wonderful um <laughs> We, all, we also have, these cards are so complex, but I absolutely love them. So yeah, but yeah, we have esoteric feminine fertility magic. Esoteric feminine fertility magic. Yeah, it was a mouthful. But yeah, talking a lot about the feminine energy. It, it's, it's you're, you're in such a good flow. You're like water almost flowing. Yeah, like water. Flow. There's a lot of healing energy around you. So much healing energy. And it's, it's nurturing and it's healing and it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. I don't find any words here, but it's very nice. With Virgo energy, Virgo is connected to the house of work and health. It really, it's like, this is going to make you heal on like many levels, like physically, mentally, emotionally. This is going to make things work out for you. It's like, it's, a, like, it's really like a big new door opening up. And I really see like you're, leaving almost like your whole life like the whole way of living your life the whole way that you lived your life in the past behind so, so there's there's something really big going on here there's going to be almost like you're being pushed like you know almost like you're being you're not going to be i think you're not going to be prepared even with ace of wands you know very quickly i don't think you're going to be prepared for this it's just all of a sudden, it's just like, you know, it's like winning the lottery almost, you know. Nobody's prepared for that. You know, you walk around, you, you're living your ordinary life and then you buy a lottery ticket and then you wake up in the morning and you're a billionaire or something like that. You're not prepared. How are you going to be prepared for? You're not. So I'm getting like a little bit of that feeling that you're not going to be prepared for. But there's a very positive, <laughs> it's a very positive shift, you know, because waking up in the million, morning and being a billionaire that's a pretty positive, you know, thing happening. So it, it, this is kind of what I feel for you. And, uh, but you, somehow it's like you're, because you think it's, you still think there, you still think that it's going to come further on, but all of a sudden it's going to be there. That's why you're not prepared. Passion. <laughs> yeah. Sacral chakra. Yeah, but I mean, it's moving passion, sacral chakra, ace of wands. It's coming towards you like a rocket. I almost, feel, I almost feel like a little bit scared. It's like, whoa, that's a lot of energy moving straight towards me with so much positivity. You know, am I going to be able to be this happy? <laughs> almost, yeah. Yeah, you will be able. And I like the Four of Swords here because it really feels like, oh, you know, it, it, like something is saving you almost. The grace of God or the universe or whatever you want to call it. But it's like, it really feels like something is saving you here. You need this. You need this. Yeah, you need this. Mm. And this is also why it's written in your life contract. As something as your soul needs to, to heal at a deeper level. Because you have experienced in past lifetimes 
not having love, not having a home, not having abundance, not having this. So that's why you have a lack of trust in the universe because many lifetimes, you know, you didn't get what you wanted. You didn't have anything maybe. So yeah, it's a very deep rooted uh, pain here and a very deep rooted karma here. But it's like, it's the end of it. Yeah, I don't know what you did. And I keep feeling like you're coming from pile number two, but you have released something. It's, uh, you're ready now. And this is the next step. So if it's, that's why, the, that's why universe is working in your favor. That's why it's not in your hands anymore, because this is not by your own will almost, you know? And yeah, it's not by your own kind of free will, which sounds strange, but I think free will is very limited. I know free will is a very new agey thing, but I think it's very limited. I think there is like, uh, yes, we have free will, of course, in, in a certain sense, but the universal will <laughs> it's nothing compared to our free will so this is like universal will higher forces and the higher forces look this is almost god here the higher forces of god source you know whatever you want to call it is at play here and the higher forces god is a player says here sees here that you are exactly where you're supposed to be now because for this part of your soul's journey to be activated look it's almost putting something here activating it you know, boop, he says, and it's activated. And now with the force, with Ace of Wands here, with passion and force, it's coming towards you, you know, here. <laughs> you might, I feel like, wow, I really feel it strongly. It's coming towards me as well. I was like, wow, okay. And yeah, you just go with it. It's going to be fine. It's going to liberate you big time. It's going to feel great. So yeah, your life is going to completely change. Transformation. Yeah, your life is going to completely change. Pile number uh, three. Yeah, transformation. Mm, complete change of your life. <laughs> Trees and community. Mm. I, I think that, yeah, community. Once again, pile number two, two. Yeah, pile two. And it's funny because I've been struggling with saying three 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 and three <laughs> three and three and then we have trees here so yeah that was a little bit funny as well community community because we had the elephant elephant said community so once again part two if you want to uh, trees and community yeah putting down your roots here putting down your roots transformation wow <laughs> <laughs> the ending is going to be great here. I mean, you're walking, doo -doo -doo -doo, you're doing your own thing, and then BAM! Poof! Your whole life is changing. All of a sudden, you the last piece of the puzzle is here. All of a sudden, you're in peace. All of a sudden, your roots are healed. You're moved. All of a sudden, you're standing here in awe, maybe. In awe. Is it called awe? Ave? Awe? Yeah, in awe. And you're like, wow, you know? There's there's something big going on. I keep feeling that. There's, there's something big moving straight towards you. There's something big moving straight towards you. So spirit guides, <clears throat> do you have some last messages here for pile number three? I think I said it right now. <laughs> yeah. Seven of cups. Mm. <laughs> I'm laughing because you're confused. A part of you is confused. You're like, mm -hmm, look at this. What's going to happen? It's going to be this. <laughs> you know, and I, I'm laughing because once again, they're like, really, your spirit is going to say, this is not in your hands anymore. This is in like almost like God's hands. And this is just going to happen, you know, and you're busy, you know, thinking about this and this and this. And then it's just going to come here like on a silver platter, like just being served, or like it's just being served to you. Yeah, it's just something is just coming and being served to you. The hanged man liberating you. It's going to liberate you with the hanged man. Yeah, and it's going to flip you over. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to be very shocked actually because it's going to go very quickly. It's going to take a little bit of time for you to understand what happened. You know, if you wake up and all of a sudden you're a billionaire, of course you're going to be like, uh, okay, you know, it's going to take like an adjustment period, you <laughs> know, some time to adjust to that. So it's going to take some time for you to adjust to your new reality, but it's going to be fine. Three of <laughs> another three, and those, those down, three and three, three. And three, yeah. Well, I'm probably gonna say it wrong, so who cares? So, three of pentacles. Hmm. Trees and three. Community. Hmm. I think I want to do one more card. Just 
I think, and I think it's this one. Three of swords, <laughs> how funny, three, 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 three. So yeah, number three, and this card stayed on the table. So let's do that one too. Five of wands, three of swords, five. Of... You're busy. I mean, you're busy doing something completely else. And, and this is what you're doing right now, <laughs> you know? You're working with something, you're doing your thing, you know? And you're living your life. But what they're, what they're saying, like something else is coming straight towards you. And it's gonna come fast. It's gonna change your life. And all the all these things that you've been struggling here, three of swords and five of wands, it's gonna be over. <laughs> it's like one day you just wake up and all your problems are gone. You know this big transformation. So yeah, this is very happy news. And uh, yeah, almost like good news for you. Yeah, I don't I don't know what else to say. This is just gonna happen. So you keep just being you. <laughs> yeah, you just there's almost like nothing you can do. It's not in your hands anymore. Yeah, you're just keeping, do, be you and wait here. And please tell me <clears throat> if you want to, three to six for some eight months. Did I say three or did I say two months? Yeah, we said three many times. So yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe it's three months. Maybe it's in three months time. Whoop, did you hear that bird confirming the message? <laughs> so maybe three months, something big is coming here, changing your life. And all the problems that you have now seems to be flushed away. Hmm. Okay, part three. This was your reading. If you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Either way, part three, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.